distressed. Wait, did I already show you these? Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen and I am the Restless Thrifter. I'm a part-time reseller and these days a full-time caregiver for my mother. And I am going to share with you a thrift haul of things that I found at a few locations around Dallas, one being the Dallas Goodwill Outlet, AKA the bins, and the others I'll let you know about as we get to them. So the first haul that I'm gonna share with you is from St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store in Dallas. And I spent about $60 there and my average cost of goods was $4.98. So we'll just round that up to $5 per item is what I spent. And um, I'm gonna share with you average sales price when I can find it in Terapeak on eBay and sell through rate as well. Otherwise, I'll just kind of put some comps up here so you can see about what things are selling for. I have a love for vintage items. I especially love vintage sweaters from the 80s. And this is a mohair. If you could see the little hairs. Mohair is, I think, a type of goat hair. It's 50% mohair, 50% acrylic, and it is Gallagher, which I don't remember this brand growing up, but I did find a lot of comps for this exact same sweater. It's so 80s with the shoulder pads in it and everything, but it's this cute snowflake print, really bright colored. And comps for this, I found some, I think they were uh, um, kind of everywhere, but I, I'm expecting anywhere from 15 to 30. I am gonna shoot for that higher end because it is in great condition. And you know, it's the fall winter time frame. whereas the comps I was looking at was when it was in the warmer months for most of the world. I will say if you're interested in buying anything from me, um, I do take a while to get things listed after I've done a haul, usually, it depends. Um, for example, you may remember this if you um, are subscribed to the channel. These I showed in my last thrift haul and that which was probably about a week ago. And I had purchased them probably even a week prior to that. So, um, but I'm getting those listings up now. So I'm usually kind of like two weeks behind. And if you're interested though, just let me know. You don't have to wait till it's listed. Just let me know and I'll either get it posted on your platform of choice, or we can try to do a direct sale if that works for you. And I'll bounce around from category to category. Here is a bustier strapless but it does have straps options with it it is a new with tags victoria's secrets and it doesn't say how much it retailed for does it oh it does 70 dollars basically so it is the victoria's secret dream angels and it's this beautiful lace oh i guess there is a size too i should tell you 34c so if you have a tiny little rib cage this is for you. It's got the boning in it and everything. It's just beautiful. This had um, about a 15% sell through rate and comps were around 35, which I think is really great. That's a great deal for whoever's buying it because um, it's half price and it's a great deal for me. This is, I think it's pronounced Acris Punto or Acris Punto. I'll show you the label. You just say it however you want right? And it's a beautiful, soft, I think this is wool. It may have some cashmere in it, but it is so, so buttery soft, but it has a, some tooth to it as well. And it's a really pretty brown. It's not a camel. It's darker than that. It's lighter than chocolate. Mocha, <laughs> maybe. Um, it is 65% wool Oh, and 35% Angora. Interesting. So I guess that's where kind of that toothy feel comes to it, but it's not fuzzy like Angora and it's not um, super itchy either. It's got a nice silhouette as well. Crease Punto is um, a pretty high-end brand retail. I don't know if it's great on the resale market, but 7% um, sell-through rate is what I was finding for the last three months. Comps around $76, so like that was the ASP, so that's nice. I will try to hold out for that as well. Okay, if you've watched me, you know that I like to pick up sport coats too, men's sport coats. I actually got into 
the reselling of sport coats because of the hustle couple. Thank you, Dan and Amy. Dan especially shares a lot of knowledge about um, sport coats, brands, styles, um, materials, that type of thing. And he's been very helpful in getting me going on selling these. And now um, I'm addicted. It does become addicting. This is a really nice recent John Varvados USA. I think it's John Varvados Star USA. That's what I've seen in some listings. And I loved the, the color is kind of a, a dark brown, but with some red to it, like the inside lining is red. So I think there's a little burgundy in it. And I got this because it was John Barbados, but also because of this fabric. This is, I think this was where um, a type of wool, like some suits will have types of wool listed in them, like Laurel Piana or something. That was where they got the fabric. This is Guabello Sobrius. Giacci Purilana, I'm not sure on how to pronounce all those Italian words. And I think they are Italian. Here's the other John Barbados label you can look for and I have found that they don't mark up things like this because I guess people don't buy sport coats at the thrift a lot and so they don't mark them up um, it is a size 44 regular and it's marked $7.99 but again average cost of goods 6% sell through rate but a $94 uh, dollar ASP. So that's pretty dang good. All right, we'll get through a couple more sport coats here too. Um, this one is it's made in Italy. It's a brand I had not sold before and it's Sartoria Castagna. Castagna? Castangia? I think it's Castagna. Castagna. Um, C-A-S-T-A-N-G-I-A -A. and tailored for Bergdorf Goodman. So few things stood out to me. One, made in Italy. Two, Bergdorf Goodman. Um, expensive. Three, it's got branded lining. Four, it feels like butter. So all of those things were reasons I picked it up to look at and, you know, look up comps and that kind of thing. And let me see if I have a size or some material information kind of faded. Oh yeah, that's right. I had picked up two sport coats from someone famous, infamous rather, for being involved in a Ponzi scheme. I'm not going to name any names or say what Ponzi scheme. They were not the major player, but they were a very big player. And it's got that person's name inside this. So I was like, I always want to look it up if they have that, it's, you know, especially made for or whatever. I always want to look it up and I did not expect to get anything back, but I did. It is a size 42 and this one is a dark navy. And then, is that a flaw? No, it's a wrinkle. Dark navy. Sometimes when I'm having a hard time decide, deciding what color it is, I just look at the lining and that'll be a more obvious color to me at times. Like this one, I cannot tell if it's black or charcoal and we really had a hard time. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with black based on that lining. Dang it, or maybe charcoal. But this is the other one, same size, same style, brand, all of that business from for the same infamous dude. Okay, I see a 7% sell through rate at ASP of $78 for that brand. That's really great. Okay, now this is a Castles Sport, size large, just Raimi cotton, made in Hong Kong. Um, I think a lot of times made in Hong Kong is vintage, but not always. So um, I don't know if I would put vintage. It's Oklahoma Sooners OU. And I only paid $2 for that because it was on sale and it wasn't marked pretty low. Um, I didn't find any solds on this exact one. So I just put a 0% sell through rate. Uh, you know, I I'm gonna get this listed pretty soon because football season is upon us, but it's not gonna cool off in Oklahoma to wear this anytime soon. <laughs> but there are Sooner fans in other parts of the country. 
There's this little guy, he's so cute. He's a little bear in a little sleep shirt. And I do believe he came with this sleep shirt. Oh, he's so tired, he can't hold his head up. And it says, Z. And he is Wee Willy Winky by, from night, oh my. Okay. From 1983, North America, American Bear Company. And, oh, we really winky. Did I find anything for him? I, I didn't find any solds or anything for him, but you know, a vintage 80s bear, this cute little guy, he needs a new home. He, his feet even match. If I just had to guess at what I would list him for, I do start a lot of things at $25. Another plush, I actually found this last minute when I was getting up to the register but she was in great condition and she was Disney. I had no idea what she was from. And I still don't remember. Uh, she's Vanellope von Schwitz, I think from Ralph Breaks the Internet. Wreck-It Ralph, I think that's what she's from. And she's sweet. She's so sweet. Uh, about a 23% sell-through rate, $18 ASP. I will go ahead and put my little lecture on sell-through rate up here. It caps out at 100%, so if these sound low to you, it may be that you, you figure up sell-through rate differently than I do, and I include the number that were actually sold in the denominator when I'm doing it up, figuring it up, and honestly, I just go to Terabeat and they figure it up for me. And that's how they do it. This is a pair of Miss Me jeans. I recently sold two pairs of Miss Me after having some sit in my closet for quite a while, and I was a little worried. These are the signature boot, size 30. You can see by the zipper that they're gonna be a lower rise. But low rise is supposed to be making a comeback. Like there's the crotch and there's the start of the zipper. That should tell you. Um, but they were in really great condition. And a lot of times places mark up the boot, I mean the Miss Me, but these were at 9.99, 40% off of that. I still like to pick up Miss Me if I can get them at a decent price. Um, let's see, did I even write these down? I did 1% sell through rate, um, $24 ASP. Here is a piece that I was like, hey, maybe I shouldn't have picked it up, but it is Lafayette 148, which is a expensive brand retail. It's a size 12 in this kind of fuchsia color with this textured, I guess you would call that floral, textured floral design. So this is may be great for a dinner party, um, cocktail party, a wedding. Lafayette 148, it, a, it's a silk blend, 7% sell through rate, $38 ASP. Okay, so I recently sold two quilts and now I'm like, ooh, I need to buy all the quilts. This was a really cute one, I'm gonna stand up. Really cute, small, it, I, I'm thinking it's for a crib or you could hang it on a wall in a nursery. And it's got these cute bears. Just real cute. Blue, red, and yellow and white, great shape. And they didn't have this priced high either. So this was priced at $349. Um, can, I, I told you the average cost of goods was five, but when I go to put things in my Vindu, uh, where the platform where I list everything, I will put the actual price I paid as long as I know what it is. Um, something like at the bins, I just do the average cost of goods. Oh, and it did have a um, brand on it. It is Patch Magic Group Ink, and then the fabric and all that tag is too well worn to be able to read it. Patch Magic Bear Quilt, 13% sell through rate, at ASP of $48. That's everything from the first location. I'm gonna make some room over here for items from the next. I went down to um, Midlothian, Texas, just south of the DFW area. And I also went to Italy, Texas, also south of DFW area to a couple of places. And um, they're both heaven, called Heaven's Attic. 
and they support a food bank in the area. I didn't find anything at the Midlothian one, but I did pick up some things at the one in Italy. This is Disney Villains. And it is a 13 Frights of Halloween. So it's kind of like an advent calendar where each day you open up a little envelope and it's got something inside. And I don't know what those are. Mystery pockets that are packed with goodies, games, and gifts. Cute, this is from 2021 and it's not been opened. It was just a Walmart item on clearance for $7. I'll probably just list it for $10, take that tag off, list it for 10. Um, I just love Halloween, I love Disney, and since that was brand new, I wanted to rescue it. This is House of Lloyd. The tag is nothing special, just some regular writing. He was really cute. I did look him up. I don't think I'm gonna get a whole lot for him, but come on, look at his dog. He's too goofy. I had to get him and he's really in great shape. I mean, he's, his head's a little bent, I think from how somebody probably held it to their chest. These I am gonna look up for you. Um, and I'll put some comps up for all of this stuff, of course. I just don't have the ASP. And these are a set of books by Father John Doe, the golden book set. I don't think I have all the books that were in this set, but I have a lot of them. And I saw that some of these were selling, you know, $75 or so. I didn't do a whole lot of research in this store just to see that they were selling. And, um, you know, I just thought they were vintage, 1951. Absolutely. And I think this might be for like a recovery, um, AA, that type of thing. This one's called the Golden Book of Happiness. And it's got the serenity prayer in it. Um, let go, let God. I think this is for recovery. This one's called decisions. This one's called sanctity, sponsorship, and living attitudes, happiness, and principles. I don't know which ones I'm missing, but I think that's going to be a good set sale there. These are a little bit mixed up. I also went to Waxahachie on this thrifting trip, met up with my friend Janice and went to a place called Hardahatchie, which has great stuff, but um, pricing can be a little questionable at times. This is a 5.11 tactical belt, great shape. It's got this Velcro. I'm imagining this is a utility belt that maybe you hang a holster or something on. I will look it up and figure out um, the comps there. This is another tactical brand called Condor. It is new with tags. And this is called the Mesh Tactical Cap Nomad. And it is new with tags. It still has the paper inside that kind of holds its shape. The mesh and adjustable back there. I don't know what this Velcro is for. I actually just noticed that. Wonder what's supposed to go there. Well, this is also kind of Velcro-y. So maybe that's just decoration or maybe that's for you to be able to stick something on it. Also at the Heart of Hatchie, I got this puppet. He's Snuggles, I think is his name. Yeah, Snuggle, like as in the fabric softener. And this is from 1986. I like to buy vintage stuffed animals. I like to buy puppets. And um, I think uh, my friend Janice and the hustle couple, Dan and Amy, have sold snuggles before pretty well. This that I'm gonna show you is a pair of Birkenstocks. They are the plastic ones. I don't remember how much they retail for. Not as much, obviously, as the leather ones. These are in really good shape, except for like something stuck on the bottom that I will clean off. Um, they were donated to me by my mother who received them from my niece. So thank you, Rachel, if you're watching this. I also picked up two pairs of Crocs and they're in great shape. Pretty great shape. Um, they need cleaned up, but they should be pretty easy to clean. And what size are these? These are a men's five, women's seven. 
And then this pair is similar, but gray and green instead of blue and orange. And it's a men's seven, women's nine. One of the bags I was about to show you, I've already showed you. And so I pulled out some stuff. A lot of this is for my niece and she just donated to me to sell. Um, so some of this I may try to take to a buy sell trade store or I may lot up in pairs because they're not, you know, expensive brands. Um, this is called Fashion Nova Men. I think her girlfriend actually wears, she prefers men's pants. And so I've got these, they're cargo style, and a cute olive green. And then I've got these in a khaki and they're both the men's size medium. So I think I'll lot these up and sell them. You know, maybe I'll start at 20 for the pair. I don't know how much Fashion Nova costs retail. I'll have to look that up for sure size medium men. So yeah, I'll lot all three of them. Got three colors, khaki, olive, and black. This brand is Shein, just Shein. Size extra small, and um, it's got a cute, what do you call that? <laughs> Distressing um, cuffed bottom. I think you can wear it either way. She's pretty petite and short, so I think that's probably why they're cuffed. And I'll probably list those, you know, just take a couple of pictures, list them for um, $5 and it'll be a good bundle piece for anyone who wants it. This is West of Melrose. I think my sister said that she got these at Target. Um, I don't recognize that brand, but they're a cute, fun flare leg pull on pant. I'll look those up, but I imagine I'll probably list those like for 10. This is another Fashion Nova. It's got the, the bell bottom leg. So I do want to list these as well. High rise, distressed jeans, size one slash 25. Oh, to be so tiny again. Um, and then um, these are probably men's from PacSun. Yeah, 30 by 30 stacked skinny. Oh, these are cute. The pat, the distressing has like a textured patch underneath. That's really cute in great shape. And then these are new with tags. These are, are these H&M? Yeah, these are H&M, mom jean, high waist, black. And that tapered leg of the mom jean, straight to a taper and that high waist. And they are new with tags. They retailed for 25, so and I'll probably list them for 15. Another new with tag, these were purchased at TJ Maxx on sale for 39. And these are Current Elliott, the Femme Cropped Bell. So sort of that bell bottom cropped, and it looks like it was cut by hand, but I'm sure that's just factory. And they're a size 23, high waist, flare crop. Another new with tag bought at TJ Maxx. Looks like they were bought for $19.99 and the MSRP is $98. These are a rib cage flare and I think these sell pretty well. I've sold, sold one pair of rib cage so far and they were not new with tags and I want to say I got about 25 for them. That's what I'm thinking. Button fly, high waist, black, tiny waist ribcage flare size 23. And I'll remove the TJ Maxx tag. There's no need to let people know that's where I got it. Unless you're watching this video. I don't know where I'll start with those. Probably 50% off of the retail. And here's another pair of PacSun. Distressed. Wait, did I already show you these? Nope, oh, these are the same exact ones. How funny. Same exact pair. Stack skinny 30 by 30. I wonder if I should lot these. Would somebody want the same style twice? What do you think? Lot them up, but they're the exact same style. So I don't know on that one. Anyway, that is everything. Please, if you liked this, if you found anything useful, give me a thumbs up. I do put a lot of work into the research. Not only for myself, but for you guys so you can see what's actually selling. 
Otherwise, the thrift haul is, you know, not all that useful. Please subscribe if you're new and haven't subscribed yet. And I did notice in my metrics that about 50% of my viewers are not subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out greatly. Everyone have a great day. Just keep listing. Pretty recently, I got some feedback on, I think it was a sport coat, and they said, and they said that I had, <coughs> Jesus Christ, eight minutes of bullshit and two minutes of content. Okay. I will say, um, I have very little patience these days. I save it all for my mother because she deserves it. And everyone else gets kind of screwed. <laughs>